Well, just stepped in the door. Welcome home. They gave me a suite. I was just booking a room. Actually, at this point, I would highly recommend Hawthorne. First thing you see when you come in is kind of looks like it's kind of an average size, but then not. Microwave, dishwasher, <coughs> best damn cup of coffee I've had anywhere around here. That's some incredible coffee. All the amenities, dish soap, which I'll actually use in my clothes because I wasn't going to pay 10 bucks. And actually the Tide Pods, they put that irritant in it that they put in that the uh, detergent that we used to use to, for fine fabrics and sweaters and stuff. And uh, even the dishwasher soap, yeah, it was right there. Everything's modern, really good. And, oh, this stuff right here. You can make this stuff actually. Uh, well, this is the decaf. I had the full caffeine. And uh, brand new mystery coffee, brand new toaster. Yeah, I got one cup out, so everything four. I haven't even really looked in the drawer as much. There's a pull down here. Yep, I think I may go to town and I mean, not go to. All I should have to do is go around the corner, but I didn't bring my wheelchair. I don't walk very good. And here's what you call an induction stove. There's a pan. Oh, man, I'd love a good marbled, about 18, 20 ounce ribeye from HEB. Full fridge, everything. Full length mirror. See, I need to get cleaned up because last night I had cannon butt. I was all ready. I'm prepared. I do my stuff. I had my astronaut bags and stuff because I knew after the first cramp I wasn't going to make it. Nice stainless steel. I did check that one earlier. Pasta strainer. Yeah, well, whatever you call a colander. Nice bucket. First big screen TV. I don't even know where the remotes are yet. I usually just watch my phone. I don't, I haven't even opened this up. It's, it's this is a, actually, a, well, I just want to make sure they didn't have any, I think that's actually an ironing board in there or something. Yep. So they got an iron in here somewhere. And it says Wyndham. It's, this is a Wyndham La Quinta, uh, Hawthorne, Hathorne, Hawthorne. This is one of the Hawthorne suites. The, the other side of the building, the other side of the building is La Quinta. And it's actually the only defect I found in this whole room is somebody probably, uh, somebody may have stepped on the bed, but otherwise the bed is firm. It's uh, the place I was going, wanted to stay at. They wanted like 50 bucks more. And Friday and Saturday, they wanted 70 bucks more than a normal. You wouldn't believe how, uh, what a deal I got on this. And there you go. See, I told you it was a Hawthorne suite. I think I'm stealing that pen. I don't have a pen. I don't write much because my arms are... Oh, wow, well, look here. Second big screen TV. Uh, oh, yeah, I still haven't figured out how to work. There's controls there, but these are motor-operated shade and a sunshade. But how would you like to be right over in, like, summertime if you were... Still thought about naked women and stuff. And there's the Holiday Inn Express and suites. There's another hotel behind it. There's actually four in a row here. And uh, that's the 
That building to over to the right is the back of, well, part of it's like a big, like a ladies' place, and then you begin into Target, CVS, and the, there's a huge shopping mall here. There's actually down that way is, uh, I think, a, like a 16 screen Cinemark theater. I don't know. I'm feeling a lot better than I did at 2 or 3 o'clock this morning. I'm a bit stiff. The, the hotel I was going to stay in, the, their pool is actually indoors. That's, I think, one of the reasons they, although they're not really expensive if you book it at the right time. And, of course, like all hotels now, you have to, that's why I started was outside because you have to go outside to smoke. They don't allow, I haven't found a, well, there's one little minor paint deal there. I haven't. Tell us brand new. I know there was just, just finished it recently. This is a bone town. You can see the condos. Actually, I think that's where next door app has me listed is. And over there in the uh, Orion Stonehill. They I gave them the correct address I was at. And they did give me a, a handicapped bathroom. Very stylish, even a vanity mirror. And it's the my uh hey look who's there <laughs> i didn't even bring any razor blades or my electric trimmer i don't give a fuck i'm here to have to take care of my wounds i got one that's looking like gangrene and i got a bigger seat that's about two square inches it's it needs to be tended to i need a good scrub up this is actually the first time i've uh stayed in the hotel and or bathes because unlike you, hobo shoe string, I don't drink beer, I don't eat spicy foods, and in this weather I just don't sweat. And uh, as you can see, I still look, I can go into any business pretty much. I look like I'm a working guy. See, they know us. I only book for one, always one adult, handicapped, and it's set up, this is set up for one person who may be a male or a female and uh, usually the hair dryer in the bag so you really ain't got no hair like me and while it's not a walk-in that's exactly what I need I bathe prefer to bathe sitting down uh, when standing see I have neuropathy in my left foot a little bit in the right and without that data feeding to my brain if I close my eyes while showering, I always tend to fall back into the left and roll. So everything is uh, just immaculate. It's, it's a new place. It's and uh, the uh, fixtures are pretty stylish. It's there's some more extra towels and stuff. Uh, you know, even the artwork in the, in the, in the hotel is very good. Like, uh, when you come out of the elevator, there's a big giant picture of a young, very handsome young black man, black boy or whatever. I'm assuming gender. Uh, I'm sorry if I misgendered anybody, but actually I was joking earlier it couldn't possibly cost a thousand bucks for a week because I got this for $86 plus $11 taxes and fees. And the church didn't pay for this. I'd pay for this. This is my money. I hadn't even really given it a good look over and stuff. I bet you there's some. <clears throat> oh, yeah, there's the dishwasher in case you didn't. Right there. Uh, I'm really impressed. I'm, and this is the chairs. I have long legs. I have to keep by doctor's orders since 1970. I have to keep, well, in actually 1968. I have to keep my hips as high or higher than my knees. It's just perfect for me. And 
while I'm at it, I'm going to do a little bit of that hobo shoestring uh, 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 product. Uh, you know, people have given me, and I usually don't buy, especially the Gatorade stuff, and then one day somebody gave me one of these. And I read the label, and now it's the only superior hydration that I recommend. Am I getting the focus in there right? If you look at the formula on this thing, even the color comes from beets. It's got an excellent variety of, of uh, vitamins and metals and stuff, and everything is right. And it's cane sugar and no artificial colors, 10% coconut water. 10% coconut water, about 326, I think, a bottle. And if you actually buy Gatorade Zero, that tells me that you're scientifically illiterate because you have to have sugar in it. You cannot use an artificial sweetener. So this is all I brought was well, two changes of clothes, and I'm going to wash the clothes I got on. And actually, the machines here are cheaper than at Custom End Suites. And uh, I, this is what I wanted to say to my best buddy who's brought me so many viewers from three continents. Hey, hobo shoestring. Neener, neener, neener. <laughs> Uh, the hobo life has got your wiener. Neener, neener, neener. Look at that. You can put your feet right up on that. That's why it's there. The little coffee table. It's not for coffee. It's for putting your feet up. Now, next uh, task after, I don't know. I don't know whether to take a nap because that's what I plan to do is I checked in early. Checked in at 10 o'clock, which usually isn't allowed at other but the hotels around here is, especially if when you're going through a booking agency, they, you tell them that you're handicapped so that the receiving party, when they're booking, knows to give you a handicap room. And uh, my legs are actually working good enough to step into that tub. Otherwise, tubs are usually kind of scary, but I really like it. It's... I have stayed in some really nice hotels and stuff like that, but I wasn't paying for them. Even the uh, the one there in Boston when the year Amtrak made its guarantee, because otherwise common carriers, I've ridden the train really, really horribly, you know, in the box car known as uh, the sleeper cars. And uh, one year, I think it was... Yeah, it was actually, it was 2001 and I had, I had to come back because you couldn't get back. There was no rental cars, no body kids. All the buses were, uh, they, I wanted to reschedule my Amtrak round trip. And they told me, uh, no, Mr. Kruger, um, can't do that. If you don't, and I just fall in love with a beautiful neurologist from Green Lake, Maine. Oh my God, one of the most gorgeous, most brilliant women I've ever had the beauty to know in the biblical sense. So, well, I may not be a tough guy like Hobo Shoestring, but you know, I am a penny pension shekel squeezing Jew who saves his money for the appropriate time. It's like I may have said out on the first last video is it could, it's already dropping in their prediction because the cloud cover is gone, which it, yeah, we might actually get near freezing. Yeah. I'm thinking about going ahead and talking to him about making a deal for a month here. That would give me a chance to really kind of get spiffed up because we have, uh, you know, a lot of things. I just, plus, I just, 
you know, sometimes I need a break. I've been out on the <clears throat> streets a long time. I know I'm going too long, but I figure by now most of you have hung up. But, hey, if you ever get a chance, try this stuff. It's delicious. And it's the only thing since it's got the right, all the right things. It's can't find a single flaw with it. And, uh, and even the fruit punch it's, and I know where it comes from. See that, that what y'all consider fruit punch that comes from the, Oh God, now I'm going to forget the hibiscus. And so this is actually even natural hibiscus flavored. I think it's got in maybe a picture of some of the other elements in it there for the fruit punch. But when you think of fruit punch, what you're thinking about is hibiscus, hibiscus tea, and they can, it can, you can buy hibiscus in, in bulk. And uh, I've really got to stay away from uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, it's, I pushed down on that. It really wasn't too visible, but <laughs> it wasn't the first thing I checked. But it's... Uh, Actually, the bed at Custom Inn had absolutely was absolutely flawless. Uh, didn't have that one dimple, but like I said, all I got to do is sleep on the other side of the bed because the bed ain't up against the wall. And it will guarantee me there's, since the ventilation's right there, it will guarantee I got constant flow of, of, and I can tell. See, one of the things when you walk into a hotel room is you smell. There's no odor in here. There's no fragrances, nothing. If you notice there, the floors are at least laminate or hardwood. So none of that, you know, like the older hotels, they start using that, that, uh, fragrance, that carpet, uh, you know, deodorizer shit. Oh God, that stuff crap kills me. So that's one of the reasons I kind of usually hate hotels is you can't find one that's like this. It's actually, I think at the custom end, they too, they had a hard floor too. I can't remember what the composition was. Well, I'm trying to pull up the pictures, but I'm mostly just uh, running up the, because I got one video that should be finished uploading. It's processing now. I'm so glad they left that, that dish soap because the dish soap will be, uh, I've stopped at 7-Eleven and, you know, they was on 10 bucks for, you know, I really don't want to be lugging around. What am I going to do? Like pour out, a little bit into a container and bring it with me to, but I need to either wash the clothes I've got on or just throw them away. And you know, sometimes see this blowout wasn't so bad that I have to throw these pants away or the long johns I got on under, underneath everything. So anyway, that's it. And one more time to my best bud, you know, pinky swear, Elbow shoestring, neener, neener, neener. Well, I'm in a, at least a, you know, most, a lot of apartments in the Austin area around here are about this size, around 300, kind of the studio apartments for students are roughly about the same size and kind of a similar layout, you know, you know about 320 to 360 square feet. It might be uh, not quite 400 square feet. Actually, my hospital room at, St. David's Trauma Center on the seventh floor, room 777, was a full 400 square foot. That bathroom was huge because you had to be sure, and actually that one is too, to get a wheelchair in and out. I didn't bring my wheelchair. I'm pretty sure I can go, I'll go back in the morning. If I go back in the morning, my wheelchair will still be there because that's one of the reasons I sit there. So I can, when I'm able to walk, I can get up and walk away. And I've got literally thousands of witnesses all the time in the Starbucks drive through which frequently in, 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 <laughs> includes every type of law enforcement officer around here, including the p local PD, sheriff, areas, D, uh, state troopers, DPS. So, you know, I'll be thinking about you while I'm, watching uh, something. Actually, I may try casting my own videos to check the video quality. 
because I'm pretty sure those are smart TVs. That's why I'm not seeing a remote handy. She didn't give it to me at the desk. And all I'm sure as I have to do is probably flip that switch or something right there beside it and it'll turn it on. And there's probably one right over here somewhere. To, there's even a couple of coat pegs there. These people think everything. All I have to do is probably turn it on and uh, uh, it may, probably will work by a touch operation or I just haven't. And actually I could just uh, turn on the cast and my phone will start searching for it and link into it just like the, the it does with Bluetooth. So one more time. Hey, hobo. Neener, neener, neener. Satan's got your wiener.